Hey yo, Mark here for Mark's Max Muscle. And today, we're going to be taking a look at a bodybuilder by the name of Ed Corny. Corny had some of the greatest posing routines in the history of bodybuilding. So, without further ado, let's take a look at Ed Corny. Ed Corny was an American, being born in Hawaii in 1933. In his prime, he stood 5 feet 7 inches and weighed 195 pounds. Corny's physique flowed perfectly. There wasn't a body part on him that didn't go well with all the other ones. His proportions, in my eyes, were absolutely perfect. That, coupled with mere image symmetry, made Corny's physique a force on the bodybuilding stage. Corny's bodybuilding career is an interesting one. From the age of 17, Ed was involved with weightlifting, and of course, he was a big fan of bodybuilding as well. But he actually never started to compete until he was 33. And a mere four years later, after he began to compete, Corny would score a victory over veteran Harold Pohl for the 1971 Mr. USA title. 72 was a huge year for Corny. He would win his weight class at that year's Mr. International. And then he would not only win his weight class at that year's Mr. America contest, but he would go on to win the overall title. He would also go on to capture the 1972 IFBB Mr. Universe contest. After a mere five years of competing to capture a title like the IFBB Universe was definitely a sign to Corny that this was without a doubt his calling. In 1975, Ed Corney would make his Mr. Olympia debut. He did quite well, placing second in his weight class. And in doing so, he actually scored a victory over Al Beckles and Frank Zane. To score a victory over either of those two, and especially on the Olympia stage, it's definitely a feather in Ed Corney's cap. The 1976 Mr. Olympia pushed Ed Corney down to third place in his weight class. 77, Ed would place second in his weight class at that year's Mr. Olympia contest. The 78 event featured a fully stacked lineup with some impressive newcomers and some of the old veterans in their best shape ever. Corney's placing slipped down to fourth in his weight class. He did not return to the Olympia stage until 1981. The 81 Olympia was not a great Olympia to make a return in. Not only were their politics just running rampant, but there was a number of athletes at their peak shape. Corny would place a disappointing 13th place. If anything, Corny was persistent. He would once again enter the Mr. Olympia contest in 1983. He placed 14th. Corny had all but retired from competitive bodybuilding. That is, until Joe Weider introduced the Masters Olympia contest for athletes over 40. There was also another grouping of athletes for the age of 60 and older. Ed Corny would win the Olympia Masters 60-plus division. Corny would once again capture the 60-plus Masters Olympia in 1995. He would compete for his last time at the 1998 Arnold Classic Masters Division. He placed dead last. But to be honest, with guys like Vince Taylor winning this competition, 
And Corny, uh, most likely, was just uh, doing it to prove it to himself that he could still do it in his mid-60s. Ed Gorney will undoubtedly be remembered as one of the most enduring bodybuilders of all time. Not only that, but Corny is also known for his excellent posing skills. In fact, in my opinion, his routines were by far the very best in the mid-70s. I selected a routine to uh, showcase some of Corny's great posing skills. Let's have a look. doesn't take long to see that Ed Corney was definitely a skilled master at the art of posing. More so than hitting the shots, which he was definitely good at. It was the uh, fluid transitions in between the maneuvers. Look at that right there. As Arnold would say, now that's posing. Fantastic. Now keep in mind, Ed Corney's in his 50s here, so you could imagine he was perhaps even a little bit better when he was younger. You no, know, I don't know, he's, he's pretty good there. Quite a poser. He is Ed Corney, a bodybuilding legend. Well, that about does it for that one. As always, let me know in the comment section below if there's any other bodybuilders like Ed Corney that you want to see a profile done on. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit like and subscribe if you did. And that's it for now. This is Mark for Mark's Max Muscle.